Or in this game, considering the rest of his team. But I think it's nice to have that kind of tempo control when you know that you're going to have two of your fours farming quite a bit in this early game. Oh, we see bottom lane at the moment. They're trying to go in onto Ferev here. Solo, Shoma, FN closing down on the boy. He's level two. One in the crack and one in the anchor smash. Trying to juke it out through the tree line. There comes the anchor smash out with the charge forward from Solo. Frostbite as well. I mean, they're taking their time here. He's incredibly tanky, Ferev. They should have a chance of finishing. He's going to have another anchor smash, but it, yeah, he's gone. And first blood there for the side of Vega. He's uh, positioning himself at top, waiting for Mag to come out, and all oh, this could be a good time to go. Dubu now with the wraparound. Bebby coming forward, pops out the Maledict. He's got the full up stomp, but the chain stuns are there into the bash. Great control from MVP, and they'll take down Mag on the Lone Druid. Very nicely done there by the Koreans. Oh, he doesn't have a bear either. Right, let's see if they can give this a shot. They've got both No One and Shoma around if they can stagger this correctly. Dreamcorn into the waning rip, but they're already the TP reactions are quick. They're fast for him. Thinking about the Ravage blows it, and oh! He does it beautifully, catches No One after the orb out. One more touch of the book should do it. He's falling himself out, getting off to the side, but the Sally Blast flies through. Great play from Dubu there, coming in with a shockwave at the final minute. Shift off cooldown. I think he just was really scared he was going to eat another auto attack anyway, but the, the Seder Shockwave ended up taking him out. But still, nice rotation there from MVP. Oh, look at this bottom. FN's trying to jump in with the Omni Slash. There's two of them though, they'll tank it. And now a TP is going to be coming in from MP just in time as well. Crossbite onto Febby. They'll find one on the other side of Pega. The EMP coming out. Uh, Dubu trying to get the Infernal Blade down onto the Jug. One more touch will do. The Tornado end up finishing him off. And now Solo, he's going to fall as well as MP picks himself up a double kill. They're chasing down the lane. They've got eyes on Shoma. Can they? Close in on this Crystal Maiden. Still a good duration of the Scorched Earth and MVP. They're ready to dive. The Koreans, they're coming for you, Shoma. And MP's going to block him off here to the north with the right clicks onto the Amplify. They'll bring down a third of the member of Vega Squadron. Great play and fantastic aggression from MVP on the bottom lane. Off the net worth, as we can see, Juggernaut, he's right up there. 5.6k. No one on his putt. Coming into the jungle with Mag as well. They spotted out QO. They're coming in with the charge and now jumping in with the silence. Following through with another strike. The Dream Call drops as well. Not a chance for this Slardar to live. They'll find the kill there. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, trying to go in onto FN. He's been doomed up. The MP connecting as well. He's out of mana, out of health. And one more slap there from Dubu will bring down the jump. No one trying to find something in return. The charge onto MP. Shoma gets the frostbite onto Dubu. Holding him on the silence with the paralyzing cards from Febby. Bouncing between them from the low ground. Dropping the death ward from the, from the high ground. Shoma, he's trying to go for the the ultimate there with a the freezing field, but Deathboard forces Shoma to back up. Bevy's on the run now, the silence, the charge through from Solo, bash down onto the Witch Doctor. Three dead on MVP and Vega, they'll take that trade quite happily after MVP are the ones to go in hard onto the Juggernaut and they're able to secure the kill on the Slardar, which kind of kicks things off because before we saw only two heroes, it's not really enough to kill QO at this stage in the game if he's on point with his toggles. Oh, Mag. Is he going to go for this? I think he is. And QO is ready to slither in. Savage roll, but the tornado controlling Mag. In goes QO with the crush. Back. A number one for MVP, seven for five. Coming in, and he's looking for uh, for the first brook off if he can, but Shoma just about to get himself away out of harm's, harm's way, and in fact, oh, Rev linking for the tornado on point from MP. They know that the Crystal Man is there. She's going to try for a TP, but the cold snaps down, and MP, fantastic play on the Evoker there to catch out Shoma. Him, uh, when he's uh, yeah, MVP would like nothing more than a fight right now. Ah, there we go. I mean, kill him. He just jumps in behind a tier two looking for Solo. Solo's on his way back to base, but with the Amplified down, the Death Ward as well, they'll get it. Omni Slash coming through onto Febby, and FN will find a return kill. Kyo is barely low himself. Crushes onto FN. No one's there. But it looks like FN's just going to back up with no one on the puck. They don't want to try and jump back in. Creeps. Whereas MVP are the ones who are trying to play aggressive and have secured Roshan. But I guess. In this early stage of the game, when Roshan experienced the gold is nerfed, the value of the enemy heroes isn't really quite as high, so... Radiant's not done it, Mag. Actually got it very fast. And mid lane, coming in with the Dream Call, dropped onto Dubu, moving in with Mag as well. Oh, the jump in from QO, gets the crush up onto two. The Doom's been dropped onto FN, they'll turn! They'll take down the Juggernaut, they will lose the Doom here on this one, but now MP with the Tornado. EMP, gonna connect onto Mag, Mag's got a run, he's got a hide for the Cold Snap. The Anchor Smash is uh, blinks in, takes down Lodrid, no, no one jumping on the back lines, finds the Invoker, and now Shoma looking for the ultimate there with the free
freezing field, but it's not quite enough. He's getting beat down by QO. Double kill for the starter. Barev, is he going to go down? No, he's going to be able to live and turn around there thanks to the beauty restoration of Febby. And now the free of MVP closing in onto the Spirit Breaker himself. They'll find themselves a fourth. And QO, at the same time, just jumping in deep, finds the puck. It's a full team wipe. And MVP just off and kills like a support or you know does a lot of damage to QO and QO is forced to run away. They get can walk away with that fight win for sure. Oh QO jumping in onto the crystal maiden and he's gonna find himself a free beat and on the back of this one as well FN just play through himself away forever. Jumping forward, he does have a Ravage. We'll see if he's going to use it here. The Tornado not Evan, and there's the Ravage. Only going to catch up the Juggernaut, but it's enough. That's the big kill. The follow through Doom to secure FN's death. And no one jumping in with the Waning Rift. The Orb on to fall, but MVP at this point don't care. They've got the Vita Restoration. They're going to be back up. Very, very nicely in the health department, thanks to Greaves as well from Forever. going to drop the Kitchen Sink on this guy, or he's just not going to die. I oh, will see here as well, Mag. Oh, oh no. no, oh no. no. Not like this, Mag jumps on QO in the death ward as well. No <laughs> chance for Mag. He's gone just like that. Shoba tried for the TP out, but again, MP with these tornadoes catching heroes out every single time. Pebby's going to be the one claim with the with the double kill there. And now the rest of Vega, this is going to be careful, no one. And they've got eyes on him at the same time. Solo up top being chased down by Brev and QO. Solo is going to go for a charge out. Let's see if they can get the cut off, Pebby and MP. Trying to get themselves round to catch out the space cow, but it doesn't matter. Forever and QO with the slow chase down, the beat down, the slap down, the bash down. QO finding himself another, and no one literally getting sort of litherine crushed this game. I think everything just kind of fell in place for MVP as soon as the Slardar got his blink dagger. The team fights just seem to always favor them. The last. Oh! Ho -ho! Good fight, Puck! Ravage to the face, we've been in the strike, the Omni Slice coming out as well, but with the Crimson Guard, they'll live through it, now with the Death Ward laid down, Shoma, going that to the here, will take out the Slada, doing huge amounts of damage for the side of Vega, they've already lost two, MVP there on the retreat by QO, he's back up and he's pulling there with the ult, and he's just gonna bash down, beat down on the bear, trying to walk his way off, but it doesn't matter, he's down for 300, easy goal for QO on the Slada, laying down the Amplifier as well, there's been a buyback from FN, he goes for the Omni Slash, and GG's just called there, you Omni Slash, you go set to that wish, and it's over. He just give up on that and MVP game one. Look at the way that they drafted. Juggernaut, we talked about in the beginning of the game how just gonna wait for no one to orb. Yep. And then if he orbs, they could potentially go on him, but MP doesn't have Gale, so... And no one is going to have backup. I mean, you see Solo wrapping around on the Doom. He's level 3. He has got a War Stomp. Um, War's going to be dropped down. Solo closing in. There's just no one's MP orbing forward as well, but for him, he's going to turn to the fight as well. MP getting the sound out. Pop the fire fight. He's going to live. Rotation in for the Earth Spirit. He's going to be able to phase shift off the roll there. Dodging that from Doobie, but no one's still stuck deep in enemy territory. And MVP, they will be the ones to claim that first blood there with... Uh this tower down and if you know if they can make any mistake with their initiation or a mid-game fighting you can just punish them. Solo actually waltzing in on the two boot chasing down with the score shots Infernal Blade as well. TP's coming through. Dream Caller winning rift only up to QO but FN here he is turning up to the fight call down drop they'll take down the Slada and it may just be one and, and did cost him a few TVs but nonetheless that is not the most favorable exchange all things considered oh, look at this smoke as well from MVP straight in with the roll it's gonna connect onto solo following in with the silence the stun as well the cast bounces are there a QO closes the gap in he goes with the crush lays down amplifying solo's gone he's a smoke ready to go the four of them looking for the wrap around mid he talks about how one of the ways that Vega could try and find a favorable fight is getting the jump in with Mag, but already it's going to be MVP getting the jump in on him. No void for 35 seconds. They can. They, they have the, the gyrocopter and the puck. So if you can get a blink into the pit, a nice silence and a coil, you should be able to take the fight. They have level 2 coil either. Dubu from the back. What? Three man silence the two man. So Kuo coming in with a three man crush. Death Ward laid down for the double kill. But Kuo three down. Solo's come in. But three of his teammates already dead. Dubu rolls across the tree line. They're looking to find themselves a fourth there. MVP. They're going to be able to do it as well. It was silly. Let the score show. It's going to be enough. Bebby trying to get himself in the cast. Comes in. One more touch. Two more touches will do it and they'll find it. MVP absolutely just gaming all over Vega Squadron here in the finals. Eight for one here in game two. Far behind and, and like your health is so low just from taking those abilities and now before they didn't get rushed down, they're definitely getting it now. They want to try and fight potentially. Oh no, he's supposed to go in but oh he's not going to do it and now he's going to get heavily punished. No one can he play himself out of this one. No, he's gone. 
46 seconds on the side for this man, and now Mag, time walking himself away, Q opening spawn, and he's gonna find the crush, and Mag, he's in trouble as well, the silence through, and it's another kill for MVP. Make that two off the back of a successful Roche attempt, and 10 for one. It seems to me like they just have the better awareness, like knowing what they can get away with, what initiations, oh, FN. Gyrocopter, please press F to say your respects, because this man... Oh man. Oh boy, Q. Slider, but you've got to ban this out straight away. No messing around. You can't let them have the chance to get it first pick. I think you can first pick it yourself if you're Vega. Yeah, but... Oh, and again! Just two man crush! Oh my goodness! Look, don't they get humanity? It's not that. It really isn't. What is going on? This is just an absolute steamroll. Has fallen. Crazy, crazy stuff here from MVP. A 16 minutes in onto the tier three. I like this loop around though. That if they stay clumped like this, there is an opportunity for them to take a good fight. Absolutely, Vega can try and come against this one, but they, they've no puck. No puck for seven seconds already. Dazzle in a bit of dire straits as Qo moves in. Trying to look for the wraparound, but Solo he's been spotted out, caught out by the stun. Now jumping in for him, sprouting up, Orchid down as well, coming in the wraparound. Mag. Oh, he gets a three-man Chronos for and a cooldown as well for Ben Ben. The five one, the all coming for as well. Wait, he ran the mount two. Vega, finding three, triple kill. It's gonna be QI down as well. He's just hitting the deck and now the blink board. No one trying to find more Mac jumps in with the time dilation onto Baby. Vega looking for the turn around. is gonna be able to slither away and still on the sidelines, Mac. He wants to try and finish off this witch shot to try and make it four kills for the side of Vega. Gets himself the bash. A second oh, bash. Oh, yes. RNG is on Vega's side here. Ice rock looking for the turnaround for the CIS squad. Can he do enough here at the same time? Still playing around with QI. No one chasing down the slaughter. They're not going to be able Radiant's to find it. Febby denies the illusion on his way out. Fought. Almost has a heart armlet blink. Like, yeah, Vega had fantastic team fight, but this Slardar is just massive. Oh, it's just a ridiculous amount of fun on this guy. And well, Mag, he's been spotted out here for Ep blinking down off the cliff. Mag, can he get himself out with the time warp before the sun goes? But no, silence lasting too long. Well, maybe not preferable in this situation to a BKB. Oh, and look at this. Koreans with the foresight. They've scanned it out. They know the room movement here from Vega. The scan here working out for them, and they're in position to fight. Get the stun out to Solo. MP has been spotted. Drops out the poison over it. Connect onto two. And now looking to move onto the high ground. But the car's holding the back. Kuo jumps in with a crush onto three. Still, the bounces are there. MVP looking to continue. Mag drops the chrono. Catches out Bevy. And MP on the Venomancer. SM from the sidelines. Throwing in the flat cannon. They'll take down one. They'll take down two here, Vega. Dominated streak for MP. Over the cross from QO, he'll find a second in return. So two for two at this moment in time. There you go. They find them does anything more. No, looks like they'll leave it as that. So just a two for two trade here between the sides. The MVP I have had. Oh FN, you got to get out of here, buddy. Oh, he can't afford to give away this one. It's going to make it a very favourable trade for MVP if they could take down the Jaro. They pop the Manta Star, removing the Amplified, trying to get himself away, but the Bash is there, followed by the Boulder Smash. FN taken down off the match for 55 seconds. I think MVP are more occupied with the Roshan, just making sure they get that objective. They don't want to give Vega the, the oh, chance. Kill him. Crush this kill this oh, we two shot him. My goodness, Shoma, you could try for a TP, but the Bash Lord is here. QO. Here we have it, and another one. Just to rub soul into the wounds, godlike for the boy. Are we banning Slardar yet? No, I think we are. I think there'll be a letter from Vega to uh, Icefrog asking for it to be removed from uh, competitive because Duo is showing us the power of this hero and it's disgusting. Okay. They will drop a doom. Maybe this is the turnaround they need. There's a buyback from the puck. Man coming out with the Chronosphere, catching them on the sidelines. The bounce is there. Duo should fall down in this situation and he will. But still on the sidelines. MP's coming through. And Ben, the barrage of cooldown. They found themselves a second. Moving in for a third. Bevy, silenced up. Time dilation as well. Slowing him down. And Ben, can he get this kill? The mech's going to be part with the diffuser blade late down. It's the bashes. They'll find themselves a third. MP able to TP away the nature's profit as well, getting himself out. And Vega, they do hold it, did cost them that buyback on the puck. But the range of the initiation for the void, that's the biggest issue. Oh, this is beautiful as well, but the scan's laid down and MVP, oh, they, they see saw it. it. Oh, MVP, they're God. so good with these scans. They know what's up, and in fact, they want to try and buy this one here, but at the same time, Vega coming in, QO jumps in, crush onto Solo, and onto FN as well. No one, they shifting off the magnetized for the time being. FN still moving forward with the black cannon hit. Solo falling low, he's going to be the first to go down. The Chronosphere coming out onto Frev, and Febby, FN, stripping away from the sidelines, looking for MP. The black cannon fly through, 
but the food restoration is too much. They can't quite finish off these boys. Barev's going to live. Four down on Vega. FS going to get taken down as well. Get Bloodborne, baby. Triple kill for QO, 27 to 10. And Vega, they may have shown a little bit more strength than they did in game one, but still MVP. Because of their playstyle and their want to just constantly fight